You tell me, hold it in your mind. Because if you don't study it, guess what? It will leave you. I know because a lot of scriptures I can quote, but like, man, I know I know these scriptures. I can go back and Google it. I'm like, man, I can't even find it. Because it's so much in here. It's so much. Hold on to it. Go ahead. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God. That's what I want. And he shall go no more out. And I will write upon him the name of my God. Yes, sir. And the name of the city of my God, which is in New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my God. And I will write upon him my new name. Most people in these Sunday churches don't understand that you're not going to heaven. What did he just say, yeah? mm -hmm. He said, the New Jerusalem coming down. He gonna, the new Jews are coming down to this earth. Well, they tell us all day long, sister so-and-so went to heaven. They don't went to a lie because you can't read that in here. That's what he tells you. Hold on to it. Don't let them tell you that this man, this, this person dies here, but his spirit gone to God. You don't even understand. Ain't nobody going to heaven. Nobody. Heaven going to be on this earth. Go ahead. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the churches. If you ain't got to hear for this, you, you will reject what I just said, or what we just read. You can't hear it, because you've been taught this all your life, because I know I have. Mm -hmm. They didn't teach me that the new Jerusalem were coming down. Let's read that. Revelation chapter 22. Let me show you. For some of these unbelievers online, and might be some in here. So many of us think we're going to hell. Revelation chapter 21, we're going to start with verse 1. I said 22. 21, verse 1. Verse 1. Go ahead. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. Mm -hmm. For the first heaven and the first earth was passed away. Mm -hmm. And there was no more sea. This is when the new heaven is going to be purified. God set this earth on fire. He's going to purify. He's going to make it clean. He's going to clean all the water up and everything. Go ahead. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem. He saw the holy city now. City? What are they doing? Go ahead. Coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride of doing for her husband. Coming down from God. New Jerusalem, that many mansion that we always quote, that we want to be in God's mansion, it's coming down to the earth. Go ahead. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. Verse 3. Oh, verse 3. Mm -hmm. And I heard a great voice out of heaven say, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with me. Where is men at right now? On the earth. With men. Go ahead. And he will dwell with them. And so they, you mean to tell me God going to dwell with us? Y'all don't realize God's going to gonna govern the whole universe from earth in Jerusalem. Go ahead. And they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them and be their God. Yes, sir. This is the time God's going to be with them on earth. Let's see it again. Jump down to verse 10. Go ahead. Or read verse 7. Verse 7. Go ahead. He that overcometh shall inherit all things. Mm -hmm. And I will be his God, and he shall be my son. If you overcome these, these tricks of the devil, and you can hear, you can get this. But if you can't hear this, you can't have it. Go ahead. But the fearful, and the unbelieving, and the abominable, mm -hmm. and murderers, and homongers, and sorcerers, and idolaters, and all liars, shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. You better check yourself and see if you got some of this in you. Go ahead. And there came unto me one of the seven angels which had the seven veils, yes, sir. full of the seven last plagues, mm -hmm. and talked with me, saying, Come hither, I will show thee the bride, the Lamb's wife. That Lamb's wife, we know, is the church. They're going to see the Lamb, that's Jesus. It's a marriage. That's going to happen. It's just symbolism, that's all. Ain't nothing too hard to figure out. Well, what happened here? Go ahead. 
And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain and showed me that great city, the holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven from God. Now we keep descending, God saying it descending, but well, in these churches they tell us we are sinning. What you gonna do? You gonna meet it on the way up? It's coming down here. The Holy City. Holy City. This is the last one. Let's go to Matthew chapter 7. I'm just trying to give you some information, some food for thought, so you can have some weapons to battle because your hearing gonna be effective. This is your hearing aid right here. These scriptures, they your hearing aid, they're gonna open up your ears. So when these devils come at you, you say, no, that don't match the book. Mm -hmm. You gonna mess up my ear with that. I don't want that famine on my life. The famine in the land. You got to hear it. Matthew chapter 7. And verse. Uh, let me see. Verse 13. See, most of us think it's going to be a large number of people compared to the world they're going to make it. Let it come to say, a fortune is really true. Don't go by large numbers. That's the wrong way to think about things when you're dealing with God. That's right. Wrong way. <laughs> Verse 13, go ahead. Enter ye in at the straight gate. Mm -hmm. For wide is the gate, and broad is the way. Yes, sir. That leads to destruction. And many there be which go in thereat. How many, how many on that gate of Sunday? How many on that gate of Christmas? How many on the gate of the Saturday? How many on the gate of Passover, the Feast of Living Bread? You. Now you did your arithmetic. Who you following? Who you following? If you did your own arithmetic in your life. All you gotta do is ask yourself, you'll find out who you follow. If you follow Christmas and Sunday, you follow the devil. If you follow the Passover and the Sabbath, you're on the right track. Go ahead. 14. Mm -hmm. Because straight is the gate. Yes, sir. Narrow is the way which leadeth unto life. And few there be that find it. Like I said, very few on this. Who you probably said elimination? <coughs> Check out the bar. See what everybody dressed up in their nice clothes and where they going. Check out today. Everybody going about their own pleasure on the Lord's Saturday. They buying, they selling, they working, they doing all the stuff that God told them not to do. But very few like us, a small number, we trying to do it. He looking. He trying to see who want to be in his kingdom. Go ahead. Beware of false prophets, mm -hmm. which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are raving wolves. You know how Israel is. We get confused when folk got night clothes on. That's right. Jewelry, come on, cars, and everything. Oh, they got to be holy. Man, that's yeah. the biggest devil ever. You know how we do it now. We can't get confused about this nice stuff, this pleasure. Mm. <clears throat> and look at Jeff riding right around the broken down shore. That man ain't got no truth. How <laughs> 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 you riding right around that broken down truck? He barely made it skip. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. Uh, verse 16. Ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles? Yes, sir. Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit. Mm -hmm. But a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. This word of God is good fruit. When you bring people together on the Sabbath, that's good fruit. When you got your Facebook account, your Instagram account, and you pumping this truth out on that, that's good fruit. But bad fruit, when you ain't put nothing out there but games, you ain't put nothing out there but uh, stuff for the world, love and hip hop, all that stuff, man, put some truth out here. You can, you can just share something easy as a message <coughs> of mine. And God said, you know what? I'm going to count that towards your salvation. Or oh, not a man, a boy, all of our teachers, everybody, just share it. But we won't do it. I'll be looking. <laughs> Go ahead. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit. Mm -hmm. Neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Yes, sir. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down 
and cast into the fire. And you know what he's talking about, man. That tree is us. They're going to cast, God going to cast it down. They're going to cast whoever not about this word in the lake of fire is. And we don't want that. Be hearers. Go ahead. Wherefore, by their fruits, ye shall know them. You're going to know them by the fruit. You're going to know them by Sunday. You're going to know them by the Sabbath. You're going to know them by the dietary law. You, know, you can know if a person got good fruit just by what they eat on their plate. Like, brother, I praise the Lord every time. Oh, I love Jesus. I'm looking at their plate. They got catfish. They got crab. They got shrimp. I'm looking at their face. I'm listening to what's coming out of their mouth. It don't match. It don't match. Don't be confused about the looks. Everything that looks good to you ain't always good for you. Thank you for your time. We don't stand and close out. It's simple. That's all it is. Take these scripts home.